Hello everyone. Welcome back to Nude Wellness. I'm Selena. If you're new here, it's really lovely to be back with you. I like to talk about manifestation and mindset through the lens of the law of assumption. Today is going to be a cracker of a video. I want to discuss that you need to decide what you are willing to persist through. Okay. I really want you to decide that. Before I dive into things, my disclaimer, as always, your reality, your rules, take what resonates, discard what doesn't, you're in charge. Please use discernment. We are all adults here. So that's the vibe. I have an itchy nose. Ooh. Okay. Let's get started. Know or decide what you are willing to persist through. Really decide that. Okay. Why am I saying this? This is not for me to give you a limiting belief that your manifestation journey, the bridge of events, the bridge of unfolding is going to be a long, arduous, tumultuous journey. That's not what I want to say at all. However, or at the same time, because you can hold duality, there might be moments where things feel challenging. The 3D is showing the complete opposite to what you're wanting. The 3D is showing no movement. And you need to decide in that moment whether you are willing to keep persisting or not. Like, I know you want this, this thing, this experience, this dynamic, this relationship, insert your desire. Like, I know you want it, but are you willing to become the new version of you who has that? Are you willing to keep denying your senses? Are you willing to keep knowing and being and trusting that this is all working? Like, are you willing to do that? Please be honest with yourself here. Conscious manifestation, I've said this in the past, this is not for the faint hearted. This is... This is for those who like want to win at life and really want to have an extraordinary life, who know that they are going to get what they want and are going to deny their senses and are going to be so focused on their vision that they don't give two fucks about what you said, what he did, what she said, you said no, blah, 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 blah. Like we don't care because we are so good at being able to regulate our own nervous system, stabilize ourselves. We know that we have an amazing routine, that we get to schedule our day however we want. We get, we have all these amazing hobbies. Like we know we're amazing. Like we, we can look after ourselves. We're responsible for our own happiness. So you're going to conform. This thing's going to conform. Like it's all good. Like that's conscious manifestation. And most people don't want to do that. Most people just want to put the blame, the responsibility on everyone else. They don't actually want to take on the responsibility and be accountable that they actually have a huge part in the dynamics they're in, the unfolding of things. So you really need to be honest with yourself. Am I willing to keep persisting through this? Because say an unfavorable circumstance, something quite challenging presents itself and it looks the complete opposite of what you're wanting. Are you brave enough to keep going? Are you brave enough to deny your senses. I know I keep saying that, but that's like my favorite quote from Neville Goddard is to deny your motherfucking senses. Really, imagination is king. Imagination will always be king because that's how we can create a new reality is by going back up in here and deciding and choosing to move forward in a new way of being. So please get honest with yourself. Decide what you are willing to persist through because too many clients too many people that I speak to about conscious manifestation, they have this desire, they have this want, but they keep going back and forth because they're not sure if they can get the thing or they're not sure if they can really persist through this circumstance. And they're going back and forth and doubting and it makes this journey so much harder than it needs to be. It really doesn't. Why? Because the focus is back on you. Yes, we can affirm in for specific things, but when you become the version of you who can handle, who's not intimidated by anything in your reality, who is not scared of anything, who knows that they're going to get what they want, who knows that they're chosen and prioritized, it's like, come at me 3D. I really don't give a fuck. Like I'm good. I'm solid. And that knowing and that trusting, you're not going to be presented with a bunch of circumstances anyway. Life is going to feel easier. Once you really get this, oh, I'm excited for you. Once you get this, this is good because there's this level of peace and this level of like, nah, I'm good. I trust. I know. I know I'm going to get what I want and I don't give a fuck what anyone says or what is being presented to me because I am the creator of my reality. So that's today's video. I know it was a lovely short one, but I feel like it was really jam-packed. Please watch this a few times if you need to remind yourself that you can do this 
You just need to keep deciding that you are moving forward. You need to become the new version of you and stop putting all your focus on the unfolding and what he's doing, what she said, like stop focusing on all this middle shit. It's, it's wasting your energy and it's not how you want to be consciously creating. It, it, it's dumb. It's really dumb. Focus on you. Become the person. Focus on your own thoughts, your own beliefs, your own assumptions, your own routine, and everything else is going to fall into place because everything is coming through you. Life is coming through you, not to you. It's not happening to you. Okay, if you want to dive deeper into my world um, and allow me to get inside of your brain, details are in the description below. I have a weekly membership and I also have my one-on-one packages. Come follow me on Instagram. You'll see all the behind the scenes, especially with my fitness stuff. I love my fitness. If you don't know, I'm a personal trainer and nutritionist. So yeah, You'll be seeing heaps of me in the gym probably, or um, I like to blend fitness and manifestation over on my Instagram. So it's a vibe. There's also going to be different offers at times, different group programs. So I will see you all then. Have a good one. Toodles. Bye.